good morning guys and welcome back to my channel and for those of you who are new here my name's Ellen and welcome to my channel happy new year happy 2024 oh my gosh last year went by so quickly I know everyone says it but last year went by really quickly I feel like four just before Halloween I went to a Halloween party with my friends I think it was literally like the Friday before Halloween or something like that and since then the year's just flown by I know that was like quite far into the year but since then I feel like it went Halloween Christmas like there was nothing in between bonfire night we didn't really have anything happen for us bonfire night and then it just felt like Christmas everything was just Christmassy there was like advent colors in the shop when I went shopping on lunchtime with one of my bosses and we're like oh my god it's almost Christmas and it was literally like beginning of November or end of October or something like that but since Halloween, since just before Halloween, it felt like the year's ended, you know? We were just waiting, we had like Halloween, a little intermission, and then Christmas really, really quickly. And here we are in 2024, and I've always said, since I was younger, 2024 is going to be the year. I don't know why, I really like number 24, I like the year 2024. So this year is going to be a good year, and I already feel it. It's already, we're seven days in. 14 when it comes to this video being posted but seven days in and so far no complaints we are having a smash in 2024 so far so to start off this year we have got our first haul of 2024 and it's a collective haul i bought some things on boxing day and to be fair they came really quickly so we've got some things from bershka this is only big because there's a pair of loafers in here some things from asos and then some things from hollister now i haven't really bought from hollister online before i've bought some things in the shop and I think only twice because I wasn't really sh I, uh, you know I wasn't sure but I've got a dress from there that's really pretty and I was like you know what? I really fancy something from Hollister so we bought some stuff from Hollister this is missing two pieces which are around me at the moment because I wore them for New Year's and to be fair I was really impressed I was very a bit cautious but I was very I wasn't like I didn't have high hopes on sizing because Hollister sizing really confused me just because of like the trouser sizing and everything. I'm very used to like UK sizing 8, 10, whatever, not 0, 0, regular, what I, I was very confused with trouser sizing. But we've also got some stuff from Hollister. So as always, I will leave the pricing down below and let's get into the first haul of 2024. So we're gonna start off with Hollister and we're gonna start with the things I've actually worn so far. So first of all, I bought the Ultra High Rise Flared Vegan Leather Pants and oh my God, these are amazing. I wore these for New Year's with a little like chain top. These are amazing. They are so comfortable and so warm. It's kind of almost like fleece lined, like that felt lining on the inside and they were so toasty. I knew it was gonna be a cold one. It was literally raining so much and so windy. So we had to wear these and they are so comfy. The only thing is, which was I thought was really funny, went for breakfast the next day and wore these and I was sat on like a leather sofa having breakfast and every time I moved you just obviously had that like rubbing noise and I was like guys I promise it's the trousers it's nothing else I swear but these are absolutely amazing the next thing I got and I'm absolutely obsessed with is this jacket like look at her she is the Sherpa lined vegan leather cropped biker jacket I am obsessed I wore this on New Year's Eve as well once again kept me toasty warm and it was leather on leather and it it looked really nice to be fair but I just absolutely love this. I've been wanting a jacket like this for ages. I was going to get one from Zara or H&M or Mango. I kept seeing like those three were the places to get them from. I did see one similar in Primark, Primark and I was tempted to get it but I was like do you know what I'm not going to do that. I don't need one just yet. But then it was on sale. I literally got it for it was down from £79 to £31.60. So I was kind of like I can't not get this for that price. And it's so, so toasty. Absolutely love this. Next then I just got some basics. I've been after some basic long sleeve tops. So I got this crew neck seamless top in white, which already looks slightly see-through and I'm really hoping it's not that bad. But it's such a soft material. I thought this is going to be really cute. It's just, well, it's a basic, you know, and it feels really soft. Got it in white and I also got it in green. And these are size small. Both of them are size small. The fabric really nice it's really soft I love soft materials I'm very glad these are soft materials but yeah we got a green one and then we've got a white one so this is the white top and actually it's not as see-through as I thought it was gonna be I don't think it's actually see-through like you can see the outline kind of I think that's just because I'm looking for it though but it fits really perfectly it's so so soft like I put it on and I was like this is so warm it's so cozy it's perfect it is quite tight but that's kind of how I wanted it anyway. But yeah, this is the white one. And then this is the same in green. I love the length of the sleeves. It's so, so soft and so cosy. The material is so, 
so soft I'm obsessed this is like the length of it without being tucked in obviously but this is the length of the top it's so cute I really like this top I really love the colour I love how deep this one is I love the colour of this one white one was perfect this one I just obsessed with as well I really like the green I love green as you can tell as I always say I love green this is no exception at all. I also picked up these. So they are ultra high rise cargoes in light brown. When I looked at them on the picture, it kind of looked like a purpley brown. I don't know what I think of it now. It's still a nice colour. These are my original choice for New Year's because basically I was in, when I was in Paris with Kate then, we went shopping obviously, and I can't remember where we went, but one of the things that we saw was someone, like, I think we planned it in the shop but it was like a pair of cargoes and a chainmail top and I was like, do you know what, that looks really cute and bear in mind that was in August, I was like, that's going to be my New Year's outfit, that's definitely going to be it looks really cute, I've got the stuff at home, or I could buy new, didn't need to, but you know, shopping <laughs> really bad impulsive buying basically, but we didn't buy it at the time so my thought was I had the top or a similar top at home and could potentially wear these with them but then when it actually came to the day, I wore my chainmail top and the leather trousers. I literally went to my mum and I was like, what do you think? These or the leather ones? Because I was running really late. And she was like, go for the leather ones. They're going to be a bit warmer as well. But we also got these. And these are a size for regular. So I'm guessing the leather ones are actually for regular as well. I haven't tried them on yet. I'm quite excited. I like my cargos. I haven't worn cargos in a while. Last year and the year before, I just came obsessed with cargos. I was like living in my cargos constantly. Haven't worn them in a while, but I do like cargoes and I find them really handy, especially like if you're going out in the night because of how many pockets there are. I just find that super handy instead of taking a bag all the time. I love these. These are so comfy. So soft as well. Why is everything so soft? I love it. You know, you try and look for an excuse to like send things back. No, no, it has to be soft. So you've got to keep it. These are so soft and just like cosy. They're very very nice. Some of the ones that I got from Strad are a bit thicker material. These feel quite thin and I think that's why it's got like that extra give and extra like well got a little bit of space at the back just in case we have a big dinner which is very nice but the ones in Strad they're very like I feel like they're a bit thicker not loads thicker but a bit thicker especially like down the legs as well. I like these. I like the colour. I wasn't sure I was gonna look together with this. I don't know why but it looks all right. It looks fine. And this stump on the back, once again, pockets on the back. The pockets are quite deep, which I love as well. It's got pockets on the back, pockets on the front. Two on this leg, we've got a little baby pocket by here. One pocket on this side, which once again is quite deep. It doesn't have a button zoom up. Some do, some don't, you don't. So the last things I bought from Hollister, and I kind of bought them together, they're not a two piece, but I did buy them together, was this red off the shoulder top, which has got like sheer detail down each side. This already feels really really soft. Like I said the other tops are really soft. This is also really soft and I already feel like it feels as though it's double layer at the front and the back which one is going to keep you a bit warmer but two I just really appreciate that because this is probably going to be a braless moment so that's going to be very handy. And one thing I will say you can't bash this Hollister about this soft material. It's really soft and the second bit thing that I got to go with it I got a skirt, and I was expecting this to be like that tailored material but it's so soft as well so this is going to be really comfortable I think so I got this black skirt. I've been dying to have a black skirt. I've got other skirts. I've got a green one that I wear quite a bit but I don't have a plain black skirt. and we're building the basics in our wardrobe and this is one of them oh my gosh you actually have pockets as well this is so exciting I love this already you have got pockets in the skirt too and that is the last of Hollister, but we shall try these on now. Okay, I love the top. The top is very, very cute. I really like the top. And I like it with my necklace, actually. Definitely here over the shoulders. I really like this. Very cute. Once again, really soft material. I can't keep going on about it. It's a really soft material. Very, very soft. Very cosy. Very warm. The skirt I'm in the middle of. I do quite like it. It kind of sits as though it needs to be slightly bigger but also if it's slightly bigger I don't think it would fit properly you know we're kind of in that in-betweeny size for here but it does look quite cute and I like that it's got pockets so could potentially keep it could potentially not I don't know let me know what you think on the score it's nice but can you see like it's got a bit of ruffling by here which makes it seem as though it could be a little bit longer a bit bigger but then we've got the shorts underneath by here 
And then on the back, it literally looks like a skirt, but then if you lift it, then you can see the shorts. Moving on to ASOS then. I have actually already opened this parcel and I was having a cheeky look through with my mum last night. I was like, I'll actually try it on today. But I just kind of want to have a look, little look through because there's a few things I've been quite excited for. And I can, well, I'll tell you as we go along. But I, I'm very excited, basically. I will just say to start off with, this one is a bit of a random one. Like Hollister had a purpose. This one does, but it's very bitty, it's very... This is a mini collective haul in itself, like, it, it's a very random haul from ASOS. So starting off then, I got some chunky loafers, and these are the Charlie Chunky Loafers from Topshop, with a chain detail at the front. I'm being very careful, I don't know whether I'm keeping these or not yet. I don't know whether to like take this bit off, I could, I don't know if it's like on tight, I don't know, I bought these, I'll put a picture up on the side by here, I bought these because basically I did a secret Santa with some of my friends and my friend Emily, she's an absolute babe, she literally wore a jumper dress with a belt in the middle and like chunky loafers, I don't think they were these ones, I think she, I don't know where she got hers from, but they look really cute and I was like, do you know what, I really want some of those. I've always, I love my chunky loafers. I don't know if I'm gonna wear them is the only thing. I like chunky loafers and they look really nice on other people. I just don't know whether I'm a chunky loafer gal. I really hope I am. I don't know. But we got chunky loafers to start with. Okay, I popped the shoes on with this and it actually looks quite cute. Like, I know I've still got the covers on them, but they do look quite cute and they look quite comfy. My little test to myself was if I start walking and they fall off because I've got tights on, maybe it'll be a no but they haven't really, and I do quite like it, so I think I might keep them. Like I said, this is a really random part of the haul from ASOS. I got a pair of fashion tights, they're like floral tights from Pretty Polly. That's what they look like, I thought they were cute. I have ripped some of my ones that I would normally wear, so I kind of wanted something different to wear, and the ones that I really loved were out of stock, and they weren't there anymore. This next piece I'm really excited about, I've got another Scort, there's a reason behind this. I saw one of my colleagues wearing it in work, and I was like, that's really cute, and I really want one. And I ended up finding it. It is from Stradivarius on ASOS, and look how adorable it is. It's like a little wrap over, it looks like shorts from the back, which is slightly different from the Hollister ones and then has a wraparound detail on the front. They are pinstripe, which I just think is really adorable. There was a reason for this. You'll see in an upcoming video, hopefully, if it fits. But there was a reason for this, but this also looks really cute. And I saw it on Nadine and I was like, I, I need this in my life. But yeah, it's got, this is adjustable at the front. And then you do it up on the back with a zip. But yeah, it's a nice pair of shorts. And I got these in a size eight. This isn't a wand, this isn't a like. This is a need, this is a must. This is so cute, it's so flattering, it's so comfy. I was worried that it's gonna be slightly too small. No, no, it fits perfectly. I even had to like tighten this up slightly. I am obsessed with this. I understand why Nadine wears it now. It's so, so cute. This zip on the back as well, so it actually is shorts from the back and then a skirt from the front. But I love this, can you see like it's pinstriped as well? Look how cute this is. And then I was thinking with loafers as well, this would look adorable. The last things I got from ASOS I'm also very excited about. I got a pair of trousers that were Bershka on ASOS, which is actually really funny because I checked on Bershka to see if they had them, and they didn't. So, <laughs> we got the one Bershka on ASOS, and it's a pair of grey trousers. And I thought these looked quite nice for work, so they're wide leg trousers. I thought they looked pretty cute, and I'm really loving wide leg for work at the moment. Like, I don't know why, I just feel a bit more, like, powerful. You know? I feel like a little bit more of a girl boss when I'm wearing wide legs. I've never had them from Bershka before, but they looked really nice on the model. It's Bershka and Pull and Bear I keep seeing on ASOS with really nice trousers for work. These ones haven't got any pockets at all, but they do have belt loops and they flatten at the front with a button and a zip. We have just come back from a full roast dinner and bear in mind, I was quite worried that these wouldn't fit originally because they look tiny. I am obsessed. They fit like a glove. These are such a good choice. I am so happy I bought these. I was like debating for ages whether or not to get them. I am so obsessed. I'm obsessed with these and they are perfect length as well. They literally, like, they're perfect length. They literally just fall in, only just on the floor, barely, and I still have to put shoes on. So I'm very happy. I absolutely love these. I love the colour. I love the fit. You can slightly see like pants line, so it might be an N, no VPL one. But I'm obsessed with these. They're so comfy as well. They're so cosy. And honestly, perfect fit. 
that's I think what I love about wide leg as well is because like it's gonna fit your waist and it's gonna fit your bum and it's gonna fit your thighs like no matter what because normally it's either like waist or thighs it's, you can't have it all obviously but wide leg it doesn't matter how big your thighs are because literally it'll fit everything else like a glove and it's just perfect I'm absolutely obsessed with these absolutely obsessed I love these I, I love these. These are just a win. These are a massive sleigh. And then finally from Bershka. I actually haven't opened this yet, so it's going to be quite satisfying. I bought three things from Bershka. Each of them being either a skirt or a skirt. So we're going to start off carrying on with the faux leather trend. Or vegan leather. This is faux leather. Box pleat mini skirt. Very cute. Once again, this is for an upcoming video. Which is why we got it. Plus we don't actually have a faux leather mini skirt. Like I did ages ago, but it had that swisher noise and I really hate that swisher noise. It really irks me. So I got this one. A little bit of a stretch. Feels really nice. We've got belt loops, although I don't think I'd be putting belt loops on that low, to be honest. And then fastens with a zip on the side. But yeah, I got this skirt and I got this in a size small. Here's the first skirt. This is really cute. I feel like this would have been perfect for Winter Wonderland. I went to London for Winter Wonderland last year and this would have been perfect. My friend was like, we're dressing cute. And I was like, okay, let's dress cute. So I had like a little mini skirt on, little pink cardi, not really Christmassy, but we'd passed Christmas at that point. But this would have been perfect. I feel like this is really adorable. Slightly on the shorter side. So, you know, gotta be careful, but it's cute and I really like it. Then I got a denim mini skirt. I don't have a denim mini skirt. I know I've definitely got one denim like midi skirt it's really cute but I don't have a denim mini skirt and I kind of wanted one so I got this also in a size small I believe it's in a size 8 so yeah and pretty basic just a mini skirt thought it'd be cute for summer this is she I really like her she is cute like a little bit on the short it's kind of like mid-rise because of the length I would say like could put it a bit low if I wanted to but I do like it like this like this is really cute once again I really like the skirt I really like I don't know I just like how it fades I really like this skirt it's really cute obviously got a pocket to the front a pocket at the back wait there's the second one there's the second one I really like this I was worried that it was going to be really short when I put it on like if I had it high-waisted which is where I'd normally have them then it would definitely be too short but more of like a mid-waisted one would look quite cute and then but it's probably best than like mid-waisted anyway and then if you have like a cute little cami top on like a cami vest I feel like this is perfect for holidays perfect for summer and then finally I got a faded denim skirt which is also a size small this one I think I saw on Pinterest I really like this but once again I hope it's not too mini like it looks cute it looks very nice and then once again this one has got belt loops and fastens on the side with a zip and this one has like no stretch at all but it's denim so it's gonna stretch like naturally as you wear it as well but this is very cute once again i just hope it's not too short unfortunately this dream of a skirt is gonna be returned she looks adorable looks as though she would fit i think i got her to about by here and she would not go over my thighs I don't think I actually show you. She's a skirt and it's a denim skirt, so this is what she looks like. And then underneath we have like the denim shorts. So it's like once like an all over skirt and the shorts underneath. But yeah, she's gonna have to go home. She's gonna have to be returned to Bishka. I thought she was really cute. She has a really cute piece. But yeah, she doesn't fit at all. But we'll just end on this gorgeous piece. This is adorable. I think this is a very nice way to end it. So thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to like and comment down below which piece was your favourite. But yeah, stay safe and stay healthy. And once again, I said, I have a feeling in my gut this is going to be a very good year. So have an amazing 2024, basically. I will see you all again soon. Bye.